Welcome to Bath. Town known for... It's a city, isn't it? Cities known for <laughs> actual baths. Also, I'm going to leave this video with a little bit of, uh, would you say, cultural information? Uh, more, uh, more pop culture reference, really. This weir over here, which I'm going to show you, is where Russell Crowe jumped off of in Lay Miz. See that little lake there, or whatever it is? What is it? It's not a lake, what is it? Nevertheless, they filmed some other scenes in Bath, hence the closures. Um, this is a Dorothy house. <laughs> Thank you for that interlude. No problem. There's a Dorothy house and there's an Oxfam down this little street. I'm still yet to do my Bath guide. I had a lot of requests for um, a map of charity shops that was guided by locations. I know we can all search on Google Maps, but sometimes Google Maps doesn't make sense when you don't know where you are yeah no, i agree with you that or, or if you don't know the town or you don't know where the best charity shops to go are anyway this is a hamster bizarre caftan long black dress in cotton i would have purchased this one size um it was 35 schmackers there was um, also i was gonna about to say i would have got about 70 pounds on the back end um so there is a good room for double we're doubling up if you're into doubling up so you know there you go this was also a vivian westwood man blazer you don't see many blazers from vivian westwood uh, in a kind of a regular capacity as opposed to mad jackets do that's you? because uh vivian westwood discontinued their man uh, uh range um because they decided to go with the fact that everything is unisex. That's kind of cool. Um, they do obviously still make, make uh, tailored men's shirts, etc., so on and so forth. But the idea is that they can be worn also by ladies as, like, you know, like dresses. with like, That makes sense with a lot of the different shapes and stuff, I guess. And also, if you check their Instagram, they, they always have, like, um, crossover. They have, like, even John Paul Gaultier does it at the moment, actually, on their website. They have the same item with men and women wearing it yeah, as, the, as know, the models. That's, that's life. Yeah. That's life. That's what they say. So anyway, stop, stop singing in every is, single video. Um, people love it, Austin. No, oh, I don't. When I have my own concert in Madison Square Gardens and I I'll do more shows than Harry Styles, then we'll have a conversation. Yes, we will anyway, do exactly these that. These are two polo shirts, nine at ninety, so nine seventy five. They are from the brand Flajow Raven. That is not how you pronounce it. I am fully aware. Let's wait for the comments. Um, we'll put the logo up so you can actually get the proper name. Um, they are famous and well known for those bags, those bags. But they also make clothing. Their coats are really expensive. Uh, polo shirts are 80 bucks uh, retail. Um, and these what would you expect to get these polo shirts for uh, uh, resale-wise? Um, I listed them both for 40 but I expect them to be a fast turnover. So I'm happy with the margins based on the fact that it's a fast turnover. I, w I, would, I would say I would expect the turnover to be similar to um, Finster or Finster. Finster. That, that, kind of, that kind of branding. Yeah, like that outdoors, walky kind of thing. You can normally spot this brand by the little foxy logo. This is RLX by Ralph Lauren. Uh, it's kind of like a sports um, active kind of range if you want. There's lots of people who are... They, they do everything from golf to a kind of general outdoors, uh, more kind of like Patagonia style things like, like this. Cycling. Kind of cycling um it's not necessarily one or the other it's, it's a bit of everything if you want uh, i don't i don't actually know if our Alex is still available now don't quote me because i'm not quite sure it, it's not very popular if it is i don't think it is though um this was i think 15 pounds i want to say 15 pounds um a nice top but i just don't think there's enough in it for 15 pounds and it was it was it was new without tags i don't the, know my, the cycling my... stuff does well though it all does very well i'm just saying I, I, but like... cycling does better than golf in my opinion well that wasn't really either so Okay. It was more of a tech piece. I'm, yeah, just, I'm just saying for the people. Yeah. I, if they find the cycling. I, I, I don't know who you'd tell that to. That's what I'm saying. A cycling piece is obviously for... I sell it to? Your mum. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. She does enjoy cycling. I know, see? Um, I'm speaking of Ralph Lauren, uh, just a public, uh, public service announcement that is Ralph Lauren. 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 Um, this is a plaid Czech tartan shirt. Yeah, it's cool. It's actually known as a trim military shirt, which basically is the, the cut of the shirt and the style of the shirt as opposed to like an Oxford or a... Um, Blake, Yarmouth. A Blake, like some of the more old school Western. names here. Exactly that. Um, th to be honest, this, this shirt, this, this shirt, this shop has a lot of shirts. It has a huge... Uh, I think Bath, like I don't know if it if sounds stupid, but there's a lot more formal stuff in Bath. Mm -hmm. This is a denim supply shirt from Ralph Lauren. Um, that's kind of cool, the kind of whole... The, the buttons up, the pocket buttons up, it buttons down. It's not for that. What? What's it not for? That's for hanging your name tag on. Oh God! It's also got that kind of patch on the um the left hand side to you know shoulder. I guess it was kind of very shooting, hunting, hacking esque, like or a hacking maybe jacket. Maybe it was to hang your like credentials patch on. 
We're still on that, are we? Yeah, hatches are credentials. This is the uh, the high end rail or the designer rail, as they call it. That's PS by Paul Smith. We got a bit of helmet, helmet, <laughs> helmet, uh, helmet, lang. Lang. Hel helmet. Thirty five pound for that. That's Zara. Um, some of these pieces are completely reasonable and respectedly the price fits the item. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, you, you, it's a fair price. It is a fair price. I mean, for resellers... Is that English you're looking for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For resellers, it's not ideal, but, like, you know, that's not their fault. Anyway, this is a, a sweater. It is a knit. It is bubblegum pink. It is from Arquette. Arquette is that one with the fancy twisty label. It looks like ombre almost. It's not... It's the camera, isn't it? It's no. just... It's solid. It's a solid pink colour. It was £14.50. Which seems like a lot of money. I was Are mid you yawning? mid yawn. Seems like Oh I'm... my god, <laughs> you are just the worst. I'm tired. Seems um it's hundred percent cashmere. It's hundred percent cashmere. And it... their cashmere retails one hundred and eighty pounds. So what are we gonna put that for? I put or... it out for eighty. Oh eight oh eight zero. I put it out for eighty. Um we had a similar me and M piece recently, um, which we paid up for. We paid thirty pounds for. Look at this view. And it sold for a hundred. Um so the margin is still good it's still good um but i'd only put money in big money in like that for singular items of a high-end high street brand if the turnover was quick i thought you were gonna finish my sentence no i'm not going to um this is me and em me and em has been selling great for us recently hasn't it? No, no. i think it's been selling great for the whole british nation do you of resellers that is um, me and Emma's really having a moment at the moment. That's twelve pound fifty, so not a bad price at all, especially because they are doing really good numbers. However, it wasn't the most. It didn't float my boat. One me and M piece I won't be purchasing though. Having said that, would be this thirty five pounds. And why? Because of that. I can't see how they missed it. I've I've assumed that that happened on the shop floor. Well, someone did miss it. That's the whole point. I assume it happened on the shop floor. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, a milkshake issue. Let's, let's we'll go with that. Let's move on. Whilst flicking through this rail, I found... Oh, hello. That's, that's a severe close-up there. I found a Bora jacket. It was £16.50. I showed you you were pretty uninterested. So tell us why. Um, I actually don't mind Bora tweed or anything like that. I prefer it in coat or jacket form. Yep. Um, however, that was like a cropped little blazer. Not saying that £16.50 wasn't reasonable. And you could still make a good profit from it. Yeah. I just didn't want to pay £16.50. And that's okay. Talk to me about this brand. This is cool. This £7.50. Pounds and 50 pence. Wilfred. Wilfred. This is Wilfred Free. And they also have Wilfred. Wilfred. Wilfred is the main line. Wilfred Free is the more ready to wear um, type items. That was a fisherman knit, really nice. Pay seven pound fifty, and that should do about six fifty to sixty squid. Can't fault uh, it. American brand. Yep. So it doesn't hasn't got the biggest sell through rate over here. But I'm hoping with the introduction of Poshmark that American brands are going to move a bit more. Look at that for a label. Now this we had like a seventy four hour debate on. E even the button placement's cool. Go on. Um, this was £45, which isn't expensive for this jacket, and it isn't expensive for this label, and it is very reasonable. However, our question was, and the, the, what we were having a little to-do over, is do we think the style is uh, on trend enough that it would, wouldn't be a long-term sitter? My answer was no. Um, I just feel there's there's a lot of style features, like, for example, the double high lapels, uh, the way the buttons are, as much as it's a little bit different. I just didn't think it was it was, it was was of now enough to spend £45. I think it would have sold, and I think it could sell, and I think if styled correctly, it could be a banger, but I think you would have to have ultimate vision. I think if you had... Um, you think a lot. I think if you had a... Uh, website or whatever where you have models and you styled it. Yes. I actually think it would have sold very quickly. I, I happen to agree with you on that. And I was I was, I was speaking to someone the other day about um, having like an actual model as opposed to a mannequin or flat lay. Um, and they, they kind of start, they don't have any pieces. They start each and every single one, um, which which obviously if you only do like maybe, I don't know, five, ten pieces uh, or Actually. so a day, it's kind of easy. Um, but then also, once again, you've got things like size and kind of, um, you know, different styling to, uh, to, to add things, to take things away. Because it, it sounds funny, but if that jacket, you couldn't, you could, you, I suppose you could just have that jacket, but the reality is you have to have other pieces for it and have other pieces for every single I item. I just think it's a like, long, it's a long way of doing it, you know? I think it would look rad on like, Kendall Jenner with like a little white vest, high waisted jeans, and the cowboy boot. And these were kind of, yeah, I agree. I I, I do know what you're saying, these but once sold. again, she is one of the world's top supermodels as we as we yeah. know right now. So I, that most things would look right on her. Eight ninety nine, but they've gone. They've sold. We they've sold already. Um, see, sold trousers do a 
really consistent, 27 to 35 pounds, right? Did you say 27? Yeah. Why did you because say that? Because for some reason, when I send an offer on eBay, I always just not free quid off. I sent 10, 10% off. <laughs> okay, right? fair enough. So 27 to 35. Right? Yeah, it makes sense. Depending on the style of trouser, I put those up and they literally sold straight away for 30 plus £3.99 postage. So they are gone. There isn't, there, obviously you pay up 8 99 It's a little bit paid up for that smaller of a bread and butter amount however they speed. sell so quickly yeah if you can get them under a tenner and you're going to sell them like you say between 30 and 40 i think as much as obviously we try and 10x all the time that kind of pocket money what i call pocket money prices yeah. you can do a lot of those during the month yeah and i try and do a lot of them during it. i yeah. think i've sold like 20 pairs of sea salt trousers in the last couple month. of months yeah yeah, yeah fair yeah. enough no, this month i've sold really? sea salt trousers out my that, that, that goes for jeans as well i, I when jeans. you say trousers i think you're talking about just trousers you're no. talking about jeans as well yeah fair enough jeans um anyway this was a, this was an older uh, velvet by graham and spencer older label um older label doesn't sell <laughs> this is funny i put I found some shoes and this poor woman's trying to shop in between us and i felt really sorry when i came <laughs> The shoe putting step back in fairness. Yeah, but I um, still felt sorry the, for it. The, these were a really cool pair of shoes. I can't remember the, the name off the top of my head because of, I've gone blank. Of, of, Officer? Or, of, 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 scene, of, of a scene? Of a scene. Something like creative. that. Creative. Yeah, you asked yeah, That is exactly what it is. It's not something like that. That's what it is. You asked me a video of it. I said, yes, they're very expensive. Just look them up. And you looked them up and you were like, oh my God, they are really expensive. The leather was like butter. Like butter. Yeah, and they were a really distinctive style. They had nice weight to them. This was lovely too. This was another Arquette piece. Seven ninety nine. This is a really, really cute cross back little ditzy sixties ditzy print uh, summer dress. But we are going into summer, and that will fly out for someone's Grecian holiday. Um, I was just looking up a uh, retail on these shoes. So these shoes retail five fifty. Five hundred and fifty pounds. Uh, they had them here in Oxfam in Bath. I'll put, I'll put the logo up here. Yeah, new without new without box. They had never touched the ground. They Look were at that pristine. stickers. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. I've listed them for two fifty. Um, just because they are women's. Yep. They're a size eight, so they could be a crossover piece. Um, so you. I'd you, wear those. Yeah, I'd wear them too. But you, yeah. But you could. They could be men's or women's. But technically, they are a lady shoe. Okay. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't even guess that. I thought they were men. I know, but they I, know were I know some smart ass somewhere saying all oh, well, them the ladies section. Yeah, well, there's, there's there's ladies and kids sections sometimes. It makes no difference. Austin found this very proud of him. Um, this is a high tech by Claire Campbell dress. Um, she also does high use. Uh, I saw someone had a high man the other day. Um, Interesting. High, they just do high. And when I say high, we put a logo up. It's H I G H. People shout at us sometimes for not putting logos in, and sometimes they just take it for granted. You guys have watched every single one of our videos. Yeah. Um, so we'll start putting more kind of logos and stuff in for stuff Retail which we won't that. know. Retail on that would have been high, about four to six hundred, depending on the piece. It's asymmetrical too, isn't it? It's asymmetrical, ruched, very large and looky, a little embroidered touches, got a pocket, pleated. Um, midi length fitted anyway £10 pay £10 I've listed it for 175 holy smokes yeah um, and I'm hoping that I should go quickly because it was in season I naively went to this real acting like it wasn't just new Zara sorry yeah that was a new Zara you were saying real. Um, yeah, they normally sell really quickly for me. I really like um, buying high use. The more like ruchy or asymmetrical, the better. That's or, their like, vibe. Frilly or you know something like fun like that. Um, but they do lots of different things. They also do shoes. Shoes. Yeah, we actually we we bought boots before. We haven't listed them, Austin. We I, I didn't say we list them. I said we bought boots before. They're just sort that of was like, like last year the boots there. We like I we don't we have even a lot know where they are. I do. Do you? I know well, exactly where they are. We need to get them out then, and, and we need to photograph Why, those. Uh, like, I, 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 can't I blame even. you. Do, why would you blame me? Because the, you are the, the cleaning man. They're prepared and they're ready for you to go. They've actually been in the photography room already. I don't think that's it. Yes, I think uh, that is an absolute lie. This is a Bora jumpsuit, which is quite nice. Uh, £40. Pounds, so it was, so like, it was like, like, like 12 grand, that. yeah, so we um, weren't, we weren't buying that. When we look at Bora, I like to look at knits. It's Brora. Oh. It's Boring. It is. It's, it is Bora, but I say Bora, and I know it's incorrect, but it is how it comes out in my brain. Anyway, knits, cashmere, anything um, of a knitting type of a garment I prefer to purchase. Okay, cool. Is Good that to know. okay with you? That's fine with me. Over to the men's section. Which in the shop usually is, to be quick, to be honest with you, downright boring. No, it's not. I love Oxfam. Yeah, no, no, this shop, I'm saying. Do you know what? I said I liked Oxfam on Instagram. 
over at, at the luxury pickers the other day, and everyone had, like murked me and said how overpriced it is. I think Oxfam at Oxfam for clothing is fire. Oh no, I actually think I don't think the price is too much at all. No. I'm just saying that what what they have in the men's section is generally People boring. Put it on rate with British Heart Foundation. No way in the world. Yeah, rude, right? Apples and tangerines, my dear. Apples yeah. and tangerines. And I like eating tangerines. Yeah, well, I like peeling I like back both. those layers and feeling the juicy insides. Oh, there he is. <laughs> well, there he is. <laughs> Have you seen this character? <laughs> <laughs> Please call your nearest police station. <laughs> anyway, why Austin was doing this, I found this. Boom. This is Velvet by Gray and Spencer. That's new label. Six ninety nine, and it was fully embroidered, fully beaded, embellished, if you will. It's gorgeous. It's like got frills, and it's got all sorts of things. And um, we'll look at it more in depth in a haul. I'm sure that we we're meant to be filming, and we haven't filmed yet. <laughs> Well, you know what we've we've got a, we've got a day off from the small person tomorrow, and I say day off, uh, she's not here. So I think we're going to do a haul. How about that? Okay, well, it's going to be like two hours at this rate, though. Well, fingers crossed. Um, put a comment down below if you're up for a two hour haul. Just put haul, please. Two hour haul, please. Or put, put <laughs> please don't, don't do a haul. Just, just, just don't do a haul. Anyway, um, over in the men's section, Austin was perusing the trousers. Um, I left this clip in because I hate when trousers are hung like this. Yeah, like, like even this, just trying to fight. Like, honestly, this is it's why way too much effort. It is, and <laughs> like, it, we're resellers by nature. We are lazy people. Would you not agree? No, we put in more effort than anyone else, and we don't like doing it. So a normal person's not. That's anyway, sure. Wax London, That's Wax sure. London. I picked it up before. We did pay up on this. I think we paid too much. It doesn't matter because it is sold. Sold. Anyway, sold. Um, bear in mind. I just like to say when I'm saying these things are sold. This is yesterday. Yeah, true story. Yeah. So this was nine ninety nine. Um it is sold for thirty five pounds. I knew it was gonna sell quickly. It's a very highly desired, like sort of indie brand. Um they make sort of like utility workwear workwear vibey stuff. Like very uh, cool, like very um Rock and roll, grunge, but responsible. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's, like, like it, 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 it's, it's almost like, like rocker that's grown up. I would just know. I was going to say you're allowed to go to the rock concert because Mum listens to the rock concert, listens to that rock band, so it's kind of okay. It's mm. like semi cool, but not it's really like full cool. I've got a job, but I'm I'm grunge. Yeah, I'm Kirk Cobain, but I've got a job. It's like the barista who wears like a barista. leather jacket. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I've sold some Breton striped jerseys from them before, and that was like a little sort of like I call it an All Saints shirt. It's like a little like grungy rocker shirt. Um, if you know, imagine that on holiday with a little medallion. Uh, I, I, your medallion or medallion? Uh, bit, da- yeah, I guess. Regardless, it sold thirty five pounds, and it has left the building. Um, so that's two things already. Like paid for everything we bought there. That's outstanding. Did it? No, not quite, but a little bit. Close enough. Kind of. Yeah, a little bit, like two, two so, first. So where are we walking right now? Anyway, we're going back over Russell Crowe Bridge, and we are heading towards not off. Well, our final chance shop of this video, I believe. Oh, no, maybe there's another one. Oh, I don't know. But it's my favourite, normally. It is the Save the Children, um, which is there. Look at it. A lot of people ask me where this one is because it is my favourite. And it is opposite the Waitrose. So if you can find the Waitrose, you'll be able to find the Save the Children. That's my hand. That's part of it my is hand. hidden a little bit, isn't it? It is indeed. Mm. I feel like this has been the longest walk in history. Oh, I just thought I'd just leave in some breathing space for yeah. people to digest the footage they were intaking. No? Okay, fine. Yep. Um, I love the shop. Last time we were here, they were having a full-blown argument upstairs. Um, they were. And it was brilliant. It was like an episode of EastEnders in real life, but make it charity do, do, shop and Jones and Susan. Do, do you know when someone walks down the stairs, you know they've been arguing and you kind of have to have like a, oh, I didn't hear anything. I, the, the, the thing, nothing to see here, it folks. It was really loud. It was terrible. And everyone just kind of like looked away. Like, I don't know. This and is you, cool. On, tell, tell, tell us about them, Bethany. This is Diesel. I don't want to talk about how I keep saying that Diesel's making a comeback because if anyone was to be keeping up with Coachella, Diesel is very much front and centre. But I've been saying it for the last six months, so I win. You do win. Anyway, this is a Diesel new label jumper. Which it actually is quite cool. Which would have been outstanding as a buy, but it had a, the old uh, as as seen, seen, and we saw. Um, well, I'll show you right now. Seen, and then I saw. Yep. He's missing a little bit of his smile, so he had to go back on the shelf for £10. I feel like that's bad quality. 
You think yes, that's bad quality? Yes, well, I do. I don't actually think diesel is the best quality. Don't come at me. Yeah, no, I agree with you on that. Um, but I'm but their high end stuff, their runways. They did a their last runway was really quite sickening. Yeah, like as in great. Yeah. Um, and that that's the stuff that's great. That that's just like off the peg catalog stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do indeed. And I think I think for a lot of the, it's like anything, isn't it? That you get the you the low end, the high end, and once again, that's just kind of uh, it's just not. All in the middle stuff, you know. Yeah, but also that would have been expensive to buy. That's what that's what kind oh, of annoys me, cheap. you know. But then, like Nora's Hugo Boss, and Nora's like I'm so concerned about Marnie, like standard Armani, but Emporio, not Emporio, um, Marnie Exchange. And Armani, like you're that. saying, yeah, just to clarify, something like you say, Marnie, yeah, Armani. Armani. No, not Marnie. Marnie is like the greatest of all. I was time. just going to say, let's 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 have a bit of respect around here. Bit... Either way, we're in the men's section. I always go to the men's section in this store um, first. You go to the men's section at every store first. That's untrue. That is that is ninety percent true. All right, anyway, I found this Anglomania t shirt. I got thought it was a dress. No, it's a tunic t shirt dress. Uh, it's a dress. Um. Anyway, it's Sorry, got a nice. I got emotional then. It's nice. Got a nice asymmetrical nature to it. Anglomania is the sister brand of. Um, it's not this brand, it's diffusion line of um, Vivian Westwood. However, if you get all the drapey stuff, it does still sell well. That piece was 45 And then I just showed Austin the Stella McCartney dress, which was old label. It also had the sign of the sale. Uh -uh. Uh, Explain the, the sign of the sale. The black marker of doom, which means it was reduced at some point. Um, it doesn't mean anything, really. If it's a bit highly desired piece or something like that, then it's still going to good, make good money. But that was also 60 bucks. Uh, like, this was a bargain. Um, if you're buying Senna McCartney, I would go for the more contemporary on-trend pieces. Take a look at her full price website. Austin found this in a basket. Burberry. It's a, like a, what do you call it, like a... Um, a notepad. An... It's a sketchbook. Spiral, they call it. Ring binder. It's not a ring binder, though, is it? Oh, I it's a it's a, a uh, uh, what? I list it as a ring binder. It's not a ring binder at all. A ring binder. It doesn't notepad. bind anything, does it? Yeah, it binds the pages. No, together that's, that's with the, incorrect. With the cover. Oh, you God. hate it because that's so true. I, I'm, right? I'm, I'm going to put pictures up right here to prove you wrong. Okay, anyway. I'll um, put the difference between a ring binder and a spiral notepad. Austin paid one pound for this. Now there aren't any comps. On Mulberry, Mulberry, Burberry uh, notepads of this nature. I didn't see any uh, like promotional step inside, like you know, free with blah blah blah. So In I think the it's early a separate 2000s, thing. Thousands. They literally produced everything. I've got a notepad. They made dog bowls. They made dog leads. Do you remember when it was being produced in Cardiff and stuff? They used uh, to make I do. Uh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. It was in it was in the valleys, not Cardiff, but I take you in Wales. Yeah, but like during like hat era. Yeah. They made like they made so much so much random stuff. I agree. Yeah. And actually, you can usually tell about the era from the which a lot of people don't know from the tone of the Novacek. Slightly lighter stuff um, was generally kind of uh, early 2000s to mid 2000s. It's got darker again recently and previously with older vintage pieces, usually slightly darker. When I say darker, the beige in the Novacek is darker. Also, uh, the font of Burberry. Um, well, that's a whole other story, isn't it? I'm and just the type gonna, of uh, lettering. I'm just going to reiterate here. doesn't matter what colour the Novacek, it is still Novacek. It can be pink, it can be uh, green, it can be blue. Uh, the tartan, the tartan pattern, the pattern, if you will, is the Novacek. So I shouldn't say tartan, it's not technically tartan, but either way. This was a very cool lamp you showed me. Who was this a collab with? Oh, this was um, this was an Angle Boys lamp, which um, obviously do really good money by themselves if you can pick vintage ones up or newer ones at the right price. This was a collaboration with Paul Smith. Now, I want to tell you something about this, right? It was like £289, which is retail of what they sold for in John Lewis, who was the first people to have them. Right. I was told this by a lovely messenger, and she also let me know because absolute OG, that um, they did another collaboration, Angle Poise, with Margaret Howe. Interesting. And I looked them up, and they're brown. Brown? They're brown. What, like what, kind, of, what, brown. Kind, of, what kind of era was that from? Do you know? I don't the know. They, well, they still sell them. What I ask is, that's kind of contemporary. That's very contemporary, the nudes, the browns. That's quite contemporary colour palette, isn't it? still sell them price, both of them. Interesting. Yeah, and um, so look out on your travels for Margaret Howe Angle Poise Lamp. Now, stranger things have happened at sea. You may find one in a charity shop or in a second-hand shop or on Facebook Marketplace, an underrated lamp shopping place. destination yeah okay I, I don't disagree with you i'm just i'm just shocked at the way you're coming at me then now i want to look at lamps on marketplace I'm right now right after this video right after this i'm gonna go look at lamps okay 
Um, did you find anything in here? No, I don't know why you've left the footage in, to be honest with you. I left it in so people can, like, follow us around. They can enjoy talking with us. Well, they don't, missed don't, us. Don't, don't miss... They saw us yesterday. They miss us. I don't know about miss. I think that's a strong word for anyone to kind of I feel towards us. I also think, to, us. to put into perspective how much we look through in a day... Yeah, I agree. And that isn't just like, oh, there's a banger, here's a banger, like, here's a banger. I, I, I will say, a lot a lot of um, kind of picking, inverted commas, uh, videos on YouTube's, uh, on YouTube's um, end up just kind of, yeah, clip to one, clip to the other, clip to the other, clip to the other. And I'm not hating it. I'm just saying, I think it's, for a lot of people then, when they go out on their first pick, they expect every reel to be just full of, like, goodness. It's unrealistic, Austin. I'm showing you the downfalls, the pitfalls, the hard times. Mm. Anyway, you do pick up a Calvin Klein jacket that I wanted to just talk about briefly before we say goodbye. Okay. Um, this is a vintage Calvin Klein jacket. It's Calvin Klein jeans. Uh, it's really cool. Like, I really like the kind of stuff from this era, which they try to kind of reproduce now. Um, the buttons, the, like the denim itself, it's just very different. There was actually a Barbie you were looking for, which is a Calvin Klein collab Barbie, correct, from the yeah. 90s? Anything that Barbie's wearing, you should look out for to buy. That's the era of Calvin Klein that does well. Not that. I, I just sold a Calvin Klein vest and Gora Cashmere wool mix vest. That's a heck yeah. of a mix. Uh, Y2K. Um, we, paid, we got it in Bath, actually. Like, uh, I don't know when we got it, actually. I think we got it at the end of the summer, and I thought, got a wool vest in the summer. That'd be That's going to be a seller. Anyway, we bought it for like six, seven pounds, and we sold it for 60 on Depop. So that era of Calvin Klein does well, and that's what I wanted to come talk to to you about I, I get it i get it i think a lot of people as well they they can get concerned with um uh with depop they i think they think there's a marketplace on, like as depop is a marketplace obviously i don't think they think there's a market i should say on depop for higher end items i would say we sell more high end on depop than we sell low end on depop correct i say equal to a little bit more yeah well as in we we, we sell we sell, well, we sell quite a lot of low-end on Depop on another account. We have two accounts. But I'm saying we sell equally as much high-end, if not a little bit more high-end. Uh, we sell more high-end, for sure. Okay, we sell more. Oh, in valetry, mon monetary value. Yes. yes well, for the love more. of God, oh, lady. I was doing piece for piece. No, like, what, if you sell 10 pieces at £10 and three at 300 I need a day off. You do. Have a day off. I need a day off. Bye.